Today we're going to have a look at how to make this short piece of music using Scalar and Reaper and how to march up the arpeggio line with the chords. And if you notice the chords are one bar in length per chord. First of all, we're going to add our instrument tracks. I'm going to call the first one chords, although it will have the strings on it. And I'm going to use the GPO5 Orchestra section strings. And this piece is in 4-4 four, four time at 120 beats per minute. Just going to add a little bit of reverb to the strings. Very nice. And now we're going to add the um, track for the harp. The different ways I could have done this in Reaper, I could have used multi-outs and just had one instance of the VST for GPO5, but that may not work the same way in other DAWs. So I wanted to try and keep this as um, Reaper specific to the least. Okay, now we're going to add the uh, scaler. With the generic sounds, uh, so we can just hear what's happening. We're going to choose classical and classical one. And I'm just going to take the default chords that are presented into the builder. Which I can drag along uh, into my strings track. I want to make sure that each chord is one bar long. So I've chosen a, uh, a four beat note for that. Drag the MIDI across. Okay, sounding good, and as I say, each chord lasts one bar. What we want to do now is to put the uh, same chords, but in arpeggio format, on the harp track. These are set to one quarter notes. But irrespective of the value you set here, when you drag the MIDI across, there can be problems. And I'll explain why. See that clip's much shorter than the original clip. And here's where the problem occurs. Some of those chords have only got three notes in them. So the arpeggiator will simply play three notes if you drag it from the MIDI. And this is because the arpeggiator knows nothing about the chords that you've already dragged across. What I'm going to use is the original chord track as a kind of seed. So that when the arpeggiator is played, it's played from the notes in the chord track, which are one entire bar in length. And we can see this when we play the piece, I've now rooted the MIDI out from the original chord track. Instead of going through the string VST, it's going back into the scalar track, which I've set to record the MIDI output. And because each trigger note is one whole bar in length, the arpeggio has to fill 
that bar as we've got the arpeggio note length set to one quarter that guarantees four notes per bar even if there are only three in the chord which we can see here I'm going to trim the end of this I, there is a way of setting it to end recording at the end of the other track but again that's a reaper function and I don't want to confuse everybody so I'm going to mute the scalar track place the arpeggiated notes on the harp track and we can have a listen what we now see where there was only three notes before the extra note has been triggered because the chord track only holds notes which are one entire bar in length. Let's hear it all together. <laughs> <laughs> 